So you missed that. Uh, let's do let's do a new segment. Do you have a Do you have a song you can play? A little soundbite. Oh, what, what sort of se- give segment? The, give me the tone of this the segment. segment's called uh, uh, Ask Dan a Question. <laughs> Welcome to Ask Dan a Question, where you, the audience, get to ask Dan Harmon a question. A question? Yeah. All right. Good, good. Well, maybe, hey, if you, if you got enjoyment out of that, maybe it won't be a bad show. Uh, maybe we, we, we accidentally assembled some people with very low standards tonight and everything, everything will even right out. Or I picked the perfect musical cue. Oh, no, you, 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 you did great. Anybody have a question? Yeah, raise your hand. Okay, let's go deeper first. What's your name, sir? I'm Kyle. Kyle, uh, what's your question? How you doing? Oh. The, que- the question to Dan is from Kyle. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I uh, I, I was a little hungover. Well, you asked a question. I don't know. Yeah, okay. okay. All right, one more question. What we have time for? One more question. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go in the back. I see the shadow of a hand. Uh, yeah. Where'd you get your hair? It looks great. The question is, where did you get your hair cut? Uh, addendum, it looks great. Chicago. Yeah. Next question. All right, let's go. All right, let's go with uh, B. Fungus Bill. B. Fungus Bill in the front row. Is there any conceivable way? The question is to Dan Harmon, is there any conceivable way that Heat Vision and Jack could come back? Uh, yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, that, that, that was too fast. I'm sorry. I mean, they've been trying to... That's been, that, that's been trying to happen for, for a really, really, really long time. I, ju- I just watched it. We screened it at the Austin Television Festival. And uh, I was stricken with the fact that, A, holy shit, we need to tighten those edits. And, uh, but, B, uh, uh, I think it really just needs to be a movie, if anything. Like, like, I don't know. But then again, Shrab had a really good idea for an animated series. And I, I have no... It, 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 every time that thing comes up and is going to get reborn in some way it uh it's something complicated happens there's a, there's a lot of a lot of cooks in that kitchen a lot of a lot of a lot of a lot of people sharing that intellectual property and uh uh would you under the right circumstances would you want it to come back i think it, well i think you could make a really really good movie out of it i i i i had a script that i wrote which I, I'm sure it's not the best script I've ever written, but but like the the idea behind the script, I I felt like going into doing a Heat Vision and Jack feature. Heat Vision and Jack Kids is this thing I did in 1999 uh, the, uh, with Schraub, uh Rob Schraub for Fox. It was a pilot that didn't get picked up about Jack Black. He's a super intelligent astronaut. He's got too close to the sun, so his brain expanded. He's running from NASA with his talking motorcycle, voiced by Owen Wilson. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I, I always felt like if you did a movie version of it, the movie version of it should be like... Um, it, did anybody ever see Rustler's Rhapsody? Yeah. It's like, it's like, it should be, I wanted to have a kind of meta quality to it where, like, the, the sort of Knight Ridery, hulky, a teamian uh, Buck Rogers esque kind of fantasy quality to the lifestyle that, that, that Jack and Heat Vision were ca- caught in, along with its episodic nature, was sort of a metaphor for the bachelor lifestyle before one settles down. You've got your one buddy who's like never going to let you settle down, aka like a motorcycle that can't stand still or he falls down himself. Like, he, he, like, like, like that I'm sitting right here, Dan. <laughs> and uh, and then you've got and then and so, so it's like it would. My version of the feature was going to be that Jack, like, first you just do like 20 minutes of awesome, just like go, just just do Heat Vision and Jack, just do like an episode or two, just like wing through them, like, and then and then and then plot point one on page 20 is 
Jack once again for the 500th time or the, the you know, he's lost count like he, once again he goes into a small town and meets a a nurse or an aerobics instructor or something and she's having trouble of a st- that that indirectly leads to a supernatural adventure but this time like he he goes home with her and he's doing the same same routine over and over again uh with just cosmetic differences his life is templated and successful, syndicated, if you will, and uh, and and then and then the 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 woman's roommate comes home, and it's it's a it's a girl that Jack did this with like like five seasons ago, <laughs> and, and and she's like, holy shit, and she's completely changed. She's going to medical school now, or she's you know, she's become a real human being, and this person that she knew had this dalliance with who came through her life. Uh, that he 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 uh, he hadn't changed at all, and and that and that that was the like 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 Jack's real seeing himself through her eyes as a creature of habit, as a as a person who wasn't whose life was going through these these illogical patterns. For instance, why are you running from NASA still? Have you tried talking to them? Uh, <laughs> you know, why, 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 why do you when you find out that Bigfoot exists, why don't you leverage that information to get people to stop chasing you or or, or, or just like, why do you bother fighting Bigfoot when you're on the run from these people? Can't you use that as an excuse to? Uh, the, 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 he starts asking questions that you're not supposed to ask, and that sort of triggers a, 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 their greatest adventure yet. Uh, well, that's probably where it falls apart, and that's probably why it'll never get, get made. But I would really like to see that. I could probably just do that and not call it Heat Vision and Jack. I could call it Octopus Face and Sock Dick. <laughs> Octopus face and sock dick, they're best friends to the loving end. They're gonna go on some adventures and fight some Bigfoots too. They're gonna do battle with a Loch Ness monster, fight a werewolf, and eat some lobster. Gonna go down to basement with you. <laughs> These characters are re- ready to assault you. <laughs> Retraining my brain to not go to certain comedic wells at 40. And that, that if you're going to do an improv song, that's an unforgiving tempo there, too. You, you, yeah. Uh, hey, man, it, my, my, yeah, my, my life's an unforgiving life. <laughs>